Political representation is still heavily led on the shoulders of a man in Kenya. For a woman, she has to break the barriers in order to be in their ballot boxes. This story seeks voices of women in Kibra and what it takes for a woman to vie for a political seat in Kenya. <laughs> Wanawake wanawake kama sisi wenye tuko chini. Kwa majina naitwa Laima Arunga. Nikajua hapa Kibera. Ah, mimi kwa maoni yangu naweza tamani wa mama as in wa leader mama ndio tuone kama anaweza leta change within Kibera. Hata kama si Kibera peke yake hata kama ni Kenya mzima. Tukoe na wa mama at least tukoe na change. Anaweza tusaidia hata sisi upande wa mama kwa wa mama pia tuko na shida mingi. Na kuna shida zingine hawezi enda kwa mwanaume muambie nisaidie lazima unataka mama mwenzako ndio akusaidie. Kwa majina ni Linda Tieno, mkaji wa Kibera Katwekera. Mimi kwa maoni yangu ningependelea wa mama tukue na leadership ambapo tunataka equality between men and women. Within the process of actual constitution making, we participated in all the processes. So out of that, I saw the different positions. So it became as, a, as an opportunity for us because the positions actually were added to three. So it was six rather than the original uh, three, the previous three. So I saw an opportunity for, for, I, for me to actually vie. So that is where I actually decided that uh, I'll, I'll, I'll enter into politics and actually take up the political seat. Because we need to push things as women, there was a demand for women like me to get into political space, to bring change, and also to, to enforce the existing policies, and also just looking at the policies that are friendly for women. Th these are the things that were agitating me, because when you look at sex and reproductive health and information in Kenya, it's not quite comprehensive, and uh, most of the time as women, when you speak about this issue, then men don't feel it. As, as women, we can feel it. So I had interest in politics after our member of parliament passed on in 2019. Uh, it's a field that is riddled with a lot of uh, uh, challenges, barriers, you know. Uh, so the first thing that women need is courage and determination. <laughs> After the demise of uh, late Honorable Ken Okon, I felt uh, an avenue also for, uh, for me to actually take it up because I had already did, so I felt I, can, I could do it again. And uh, I told my people, I told my family, and they accepted. If your family is not supporting you, it can be a huge dent uh, to your career because people will question if the people who know you, who live with you, and are with you all the time, can't support you, why should we support you? Is there something that they know that we don't know? So it's always good to have family support. Because I came with the Kweli party, and the Kweli party in ODM Strong Zone, it was not easy. Um, at some point, I was really threatened in social media, if you, by the son of the former prime minister. It was not easy calling me names, and then saying, I cannot come in Kibra to campaign. There was a time I went to, to Sarangombe to Kamkunji, of which it is a stronghold, ODM stronghold, but I got a very wonderful reception. They gave me an opportunity to actually give out my, my blueprint and I t talk about my policies. They had me, by the end of the day, they, after, after everything, they told me, Ma, why couldn't you come to ODM? Wewe ni mzuri. Eh? Umezungumza vizuri tumekuelewa. Lakini sasa hiyo chama chama chako ndio issue.
if political parties in their strongholds they'll be given be giving the tickets to women it will be automatic uh via an uh, automatic way of actually women getting into parliament even the issue of two-thirds gender rule could have been solved at that level <laughs> was actually it was biased to some extent I will say it was biased because it was only targeting the big parties and whereby the big parties there was no woman within the big parties so you find we, lo we lost out even during the presentation of papers in the IBC media was there but uh, when you're presenting your papers they are just there it's like atumjui uyu uyu nani nani but media is patriarchal Media, in terms of politics, when they're speaking politics, they don't feel like there is a woman in politics. Media feels like politics is a game of men. And older men, not even younger men, because also I saw my colleagues who are young men, they were not featured anywhere in the media. But older men who had a little bit money and who could also bribe some media group, and media could take their stories even in the, in the front cover of the page. But for us, maybe because we don't have money to bribe, we didn't have uh, the way to compromise the media, they were like even deleting our stories all the time. So media was really biased during the elections of um, 2019. I also noticed that politics is really um, very expensive, deliberately. It is very expensive so that women and young people cannot join politics. And this is also an eye-opener for young people in this country. Because most of the time they're outside politics, they're, and women also. They're looked as um, mobilizers, and maybe people can bring chaos in the community. I had my colleagues saying they campaigned with 50 million, some campaigned with so many money, so, so much money. And uh, personally, I campaigned almost with one million, and I didn't give out bribe. It was for communication, traveling, and for my security, because I had to take care of my daughters due to the th threats that uh, I was getting and the challenges I was experiencing every day as a, also a single parent. So finance was an issue. In fact, during the by-election, finance was a critical issue because the election that we had became a national election. It became a tussle of the big four. It became a, a national election within the city of Kibra. So that was the peculiarity of that by-election. Currently, women are not uh, financially stable, and the support that women actually require is not coming forth. Men actually have a different way of actually maneuvering their ways. You see, people talk over of a drink, people talk over coffee, so you find people actually spending more time in football, in the gym, where, so it's easy for somebody to get support as a man. But for a woman, you don't, women don't have a common place of actually going out. They don't go over coffee for, with the fellow women. There is no that kind of social life within the women's uh, space. So it becomes a difficult, a challenge for women to actually get finance. Elections in Kenya have become a money contest. Our politicians have refused. Remember that we enacted a campaign financing act so that politics would cease to be a money contest and that we would ensure that we have um, accountability. We know who the funding sources are and everything. They've never operationalized it. That would go a long way in supporting women. However, uh, there's a, there are persuasions that you can make to people, especially if people know you and they see you as sincere. They're likely to support you politically.